ています。Hello and welcome to this video. This is the first video about the Nimzo Indian, and it deals with the sidelines <clears throat> that White may play. The most important one among those is the landing grid with Bishop G5, but there are also some other moves to consider. So let's have a look. So we have D4, Knight of 6, C4, E6, and now Knight F3, D5, Knight C3, Bishop B4 is the Rogozin, but Knight c3 is of course also a very frequently seen move, which after bishop b4 leads us to the Nimzo Indian, um, the second cornerstone of this repertoire. The Nimzo is a very popular opening on all levels, um, in particular on the lower levels actually, on the non-pro level. You see knight c3 more often than knight f3. The professional players often Play knight f3 or g3 because they are a little bit more afraid of the nimzo. Afraid is a strong word, but the nimzo has a very, very good theoretical standing and is often avoided by white players. So, what is the good thing about the nimzo? Um, I think and always um, felt this way the nimzo is a very flexible opening. With bishop b4, we pin the knight and therefore get a little bit of central influence like e4 we prevent it now by tactical means so we increase control over the center with this move without committing to a central structure yet it's not uh, clear at all whether we want to play d5 or c5 or b6 or yeah a combination of any of those moves and this makes it a very interesting opening and also an opening that once you have it in your repertoire can be modified to no end, basically. You can still play your opening, but you can always uh, add a little bit of variety, like uh, why not this line or why not try something else? So while still staying within your kind of known territory, you can still vary a little bit, which makes it, I think, a very good long-term addition to any opening repertoire. Okay, now we look at the sidelines here in this um, chapter. As mentioned, the most important one among those is bishop to g5. Um, but let's have a look at some others, and they actually will transpose quite often. Let's say knight f3. This is a very easy one for our repertoire, as we simply play d5 and we transpose to the Rogozin. So we basically, yeah save a good amount of theoretical effort here. This is a, not the only move, of course. Um, when I wrote my book on the Nimzo in 2015, 2014, I recommended c5 as an entirely different way to play, but you can also castle, you can play b6. So with d5, you have a ready-made answer with this repertoire, but it is extremely flexible for later modification. Um, another move that is seen quite often on the non-pro level is bishop d. This was a free preview of our anti-1d4 course based on the Nimzo Indian and Rogozin, available on chessable.com. Thanks for watching and see you soon.